else for keeping me dry. I'm happy about that. That was a nice little pit stop. I mean, it wasn't nice, it was dry and windproof. There was a little sense of unease, you know, never sure if I'm in trouble. And it's not as beautiful as being in nature, but it was dry what really mattered it's lucky there were those beams thank you leaky roof the roof was leaky that was why it was all ripped down I found that out once I put my hammock up there were a few drips of rain coming through drip drip but luckily they dripped away from the hammock I've got a good belly full of bananas and kale I feel good oh could zip my thing up be a bit warmer this is an adventure It's a memory In a mystery And to find the purpose of Living in now Magic now What in your heart The day begins 11 miles Is the minimum To get to shops, food, the next town Will we do more than 11 miles? I don't know Let's see how we feel just getting warmed up right now. Just walking for a mile or so. And then the headphones go on, the music starts, and then I think, ooh, let's jog along a little bit. Monsters, absolute monsters. Look, that's my hand, that's the thistles. All the way up there, all the way along here. These are very edible. You can't really get it wrong with thistles. Like, a thistle is a thistle. Is a thistle is a thistle. You can't, like, have much trouble identifying them. They're the spiky, tall things. And as long as you've got a blender or fire, like to boil, or, you know, a cooker or whatever, put them in a stew, make a thistle soup, <laughs> put them with your rice, whatever, you'll be fine with thistles. But it's a nice feeling just to be out here going, wow, look at all the stuff. There's so much of it. It feels a lot more like England, the weather here. It's like rainy, gray, but green. A lot of dandelions, a lot of thistles, a lot of greens. There wasn't really any of that in Florida or I was poor at identifying I'm sure there was lots of edible stuff, saw palmetto and all these things that you can eat, but I'm not familiar with it. And we have cattail right here. These funky looking things. They're always in marshes. These are very marshy, wet pond plants. Can totally eat the roots like sweet potatoes. Pull them out. Got to be pretty hungry to go digging in a marsh. These were one of the most popular foods for native Indians. The roots are real starchy, big tubes like potatoes. They're awesome, endless, abundance. Couldn't have really known this was down the road unless I went further down the road. The house was fine. It's good to know good to know there's lots of options I had toothpaste on my lips I just noticed it in the camera I was like oh I've been talking to you all morning with toothpaste lips it's actually not even toothpaste it's just baking soda bicarb powder good morning cow friends good morning buddies hey buddies Good morning, cow friends. 
Life will pay whatever price you ask of it and whatever price you believe you deserve. Ask bigger, believe bigger, and you'll get big. What do I need to do to get to where I must get to? What must I do today to become the person I must be tomorrow? Who do I need to become to get to where I must get to? What do I need to do to become who I must become? Here you go, 44. That's for you. That's for you, Moo Cow. There you go, buddy. That's for you. Moo. The Moo Cows. You don't want it. It's for you. Yum, yum, yum. He's like, I've got a whole field full. Okay. Ah, it's super beautiful out here. Nice buttercuppy yellow fields. Ah, cow friends to chat to. <laughs> Little pond things. It's Tennessee country. Real country bumpkin kind of, you know, farmland. This is nice. It's nice. Wah wah wee wah. It's very nice. It's the people. It's the people who live inside the camera, buddy. Kisses. <laughs> He's a friendly friend. Hey, you're a friendly friend. It's good, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Nice to see you. A big buddy. A big buddy. Nice. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Are you nibbling me? <laughs> you never leave me. Huh? Oh, I don't bite it. You're licking the belt. You're licking the belt. I'm gonna go now, buddy. He's my friend. Love you, buddy. Love you. He was cool. cool. Nose kisses. He's just kind of smelling. So I do the same thing back. We like breathe each other's nostrils. It's a horse thing. <laughs> All right, we made it to Sweetwater. So that was 11 miles. Feeling strong. All I've drank is like a bit of water and that's it. Haven't eaten anything. That kale and bananas really set me up good. So I've got raisins, I've got cliff bars. I'm going to keep pushing to the next town, which I think is another 10 miles, and then stop there. Probably. Just feeling good, not raining. Got the whole day ahead of us. Keep on moving. And quick plantain identifying lesson. Plantain, plantain. They're both the same species, or both the same plant. They're not obviously the same plant. They're a different type. You can see the leaves are oval shaped whether it's a big fat oval or a long slender and the ribs run all the way up there's no sideways ribs they're all horizontally you know running parallel kind of so these fat ones these thin ones Good to go. There's tons of them all along this bank. Look, tons of these long ones. Oh, and they often have, this is a cool identifier. They have this sticking out the end. That's their seeds that they poke out. See here, seeds poking out here. That's all coming from the plantain. It's another good identifier. Depending how old the plant is, it might not have seeds yet.
There's so much to eat out here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> My running is turned to waddling, shuffling. Now I've got a stitch. I'm not so uh, strong like I was earlier. Hey, I've made it. I'm gonna keep going. Now I'm just looking for the next stop, the next Dollar General, fantasizing about apple juice and laying down in the gravel outside. That's how knackered I am. Truck. I'm bored with my music. I'm playing the same thing again and again. It's just repetitive. I don't know what to listen to anymore. I try and put it on shuffle and there's just nothing new heard everything too many times I spend all my time thinking what can I remove from the belt why is it so heavy my feet are hurting the belt just feels heavy uncomfortable uninviting when I put it on my body kind of goes oh like I'm dreading it now hi why is everybody stopping Everybody was stopping because I was talking to you guys. So yeah, my body is rejecting the belt. There's like a weight limit and I think I've passed it. Really weighing me down and it's kind of ruining the experience. I begin to think, what would it be like if I just had my clothes, my hammock, and my sleeping bag? I do need some electronics to keep broadcasting to you guys. Get me to some apple juice and I might feel better. I wanted to get a shot of me walking by the barn. That's all. Just me hobbling along. Dollar General in sight. And I can't even be bothered to go back and do it again. The camera just keeps flopping. It's kind of a metaphor for how I feel right now but I can see the yellow Dollar General sign ahead. <sighs> I'm just fantasizing about taking my shoes off, laying down in the dirt, I don't care, just sit on the floor. Maybe power up, there should be some plugs. I just drink apple juice, that's it. Simple things. That's all I want right now. The floor and apple juice. Give me those two things. Horizontal and sugar, please. There it is. There it is. Meet me now, the moment. Don't get all done. That's the people, cause you can't be free. Judge the people, love now, create, inspire. But I see chairs for sale, so I'll sit on the chairs that are for sale. And there's definitely a plug. I wonder what the trees are like back here. Ooh, I see a barn. There's a barn there. There's a barn. I think Tennessee will go down in history as the state of the barns. The state most recognizable by its barns. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Yes, lovely. This will do nicely. Love it. Loads of places to hang a hammock. Still a good feeling of like nature vibes yes i am so happy about this less than two dollars for uh two liters of apple cranberry uh, i've got my eye on those plugs and those seats Oh, I can't even sit down, the belt is stuck. Oh, I really just want to take the weight off my feet. 
I said to the girl, I'm going to sit in your chairs outside. She's like, you're fine. Take as long as you like. So thistle. Loads of these thistles around. So thistle. S-O-W. Sow. They're not really spiky. I don't know why they're called thistles. The blender enables me to drink greens on a much larger scale than I would chew. Chewing it, I'm like, Ugh. That's the benefit of the blender. The blender is currently charging on the Dollar General plug along with the dead power bank. As much as I whine about it, it's pretty cool having two power banks. Dollar General seems to be stocking these kind of cliff bars. Chocolate chip flavor. It's amazing. For one dollar each. Like sometimes you'll get them on a deal in the supermarket where you buy 10 for $10. So that's rare but this is just a dollar each whether you buy one or ten or five or two alrighty I'm gonna leave the power bank and the blender charging while I go and rest in the barn I've got no phone signal so annoying so I can't do any online work that I'd like to do and I'm kind of disconnected but it's at least five more miles to the next kind of town where I might get a signal and I just don't feel like facing that right now <laughs> so I was tempted to just lay on the ground there and I thought well how long does it really take to set the hammock up better than Lay it on the ground, just get in the hammock, go in the barn. How do you define being free? Doing what you love. Mom, here I am, you just love now. Is this I remember? This I remember. This is an adventure. This is the memory, magic now. Create, inspire, and don't get old. Had a nice little snooze. 6 p.m. now. If I push on, I run the risk of getting to the town when everything's closed. And it's not enjoyable. That's the main thing. My blender will be charged now. Let's blend something. Okay, the good news is that stuff is still there. And the even better news, I bought more things. Oats, cliff bars, taters, beans. Top up the raisin supply. And some water. All right, I've made myself a little table. Look, I've used this barbecue thing. The thing with hammocking is you're just kind of dangling and I can lean back and keep everything sort of safe and upright but it's nice to have a table nope. lean back lean back it would be kind of cool if I was looking that way instead I'm just looking at this but I couldn't be bothered to cart that thing all the way around the other side of the hammock it's fine I'll be editing soon just gonna eat this and then edit I always go with what I feel like eating what when I'm in the store and I go "Ooh, that seems appealing do that if I'm kind of oated out let's not do oats let's do oats in the morning eat the thing that seems most appealing Eat it immediately. Don't save it. Hold on for later. Have it a special occasion. That occasion might change or things might happen or your taste buds and your palate might want something different. Go straight for the thing that you really, really want. 
then eventually you will have eaten all the things you really, really want. I really, really want, aha, aha, what's that Spice Girls? It just reminded me of that song. <laughs> I really, really, really want a zig -a zig ah. I really, really, really want potatoes and beans. <laughs> Ooh, grey clouds. As luck would have it, I began to hear the pitter-patter of raindrops. You can't hear it now. <laughs> it was kind of a little bit of a shower. And I was like, yes! I'm glad I'm not out there on the road struggling to do more miles when I don't really feel like it. Instead, I'm here eating lovely stuff with what I hope to be a dry roof over my head. It looks pretty solid, a few little holes. Good morning. I'm just getting up to get my power bank. Ugh. I just woke up and remembered it's there. Go, go, go. 6 a.m. Still got my earplugs in. <laughs> I want to get back in bed. It's cold. Dee, 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 dee. Fully charged. And it's so cold. Oh. Right, let's read the pack. Servings per container, four. Four servings, really? Then I had eight servings. Calories, 110. So the whole packet is 440. So I had 880 calories, plus the beans. Still real hungry. Had to eat at Cliff Bars and everything before I went to sleep. Knew I hadn't even had enough food then. Now having to wake up first thing in the morning and eat a full cup of oats with juice just to have a chance of my body letting me rest. just to lay here satisfied with a, without a hungry grumbly tummy. Try and just lay here. I can feel the time slipping away. 7 a.m. Miss the sunrise. 8 a.m. I'm still laying here. 9 a.m. I'm not really asleep. I probably I need to pee now. 10 a.m. Maybe I should just get up. I think I need to poop. 10.30, oh, I guess I'll just admit that I'm not going to sleep anymore. 11 a.m., get up, and it's like, what a waste of time. I could have edited a video. I could have looked at the sunrise. I could have run for three hours. Oh, good morning, sunshine. Thank you for another beautiful day. Give us this day our daily bananas and raisins. Forgive us for our errors, as we forgive others for their errors. And lead us not into more errors, but map the way. <laughs> The way of the kingdom. The joy. And the freedom. Forever and ever. Amen. Dollar General support crew. I just washed my shorts and vest, which hasn't been washed since I did laundry at the Smoky Mountains exit. 
it's getting pretty stinky and I've got two sets of everything as you can see so uh, just used hand soap and did it in the sink and I think it's sunny enough that I can hang it out to dry while I blend because I've fully charged the blender apple and greens so thistle remember the trick it's always gonna be hollow in the middle and one little snap takes a good amount of leaves very bitter even more bitter than dandelion if that's even possible but even though they're bitter I think with apple juice it's gonna balance it out now there's tons of plantains all along here plantain there's a plantain, there's a plantain. Just for the identification, look. There's the plantain identifier. There's the leaves we know and trust. So let's grab a handful and leave the plant alive and kicking. Rip. If anyone went back here to the barn it's unlikely they would even go back here if they did it would take them a while to figure out how to deconstruct the hammock and do a runner and the most important things I've got with me my phones my wallet there's nothing much they would gain my actual camping survival equipment. <sighs> Whoa! There is someone here. There's a whole group. What's going on, buddies? Well, that's a nice surprise. It's Halloween and Christmas. All rolled into one. Oh, that's so nice of you guys to come visit. How are you doing? I've been in quarantine, I've been so isolated on the trail, it's really nice to have some visitors. That's so cool to see you all. Wow, a camel too. Amazing. Merry every day. Woo! Exclusive behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow! <laughs> yeah!